In this video, I'm mixing epoxy with plaster. I had some leftover epoxy from my countertops. So I got the uh, mold ready, and then I went ahead and I mixed my hardener and my resin together. I did one cup of each for this. And then I mixed it for two minutes. And I probably should have used a paddle mixer, but I didn't. I added some of the plaster. I added about a cup of plaster to this mix. Um, actually, it might've been a cup and a half. Uh, so I had one cup resin, one cup hardener, and then one and a half cups of that uh, plaster. I mixed it. I didn't love this color. Um, it was turning out like a really weird, ugly gray. As you can see, it was not a very pretty color. It almost looked like the, I don't know. Um, so I went ahead and I added the black mica powder. So I kept mix mixing in that black mica powder until I got to the color that I wanted, which was just dark black. And that's a black metallic. I started pouring it in the mold and then I added a little gold spray paint on the end just to see how that will turn out. Poured that in, let it sit. And then um, I opened the mold. I had a hard time opening this mold. I had to have my husband come in and help chisel this mold out. Um, apparently the, the resin got really hot and my 3D mold inside kind of warped. So the inside of the mold, um, like the cast got large. So then we're drilling a hole to trying to get that piece in the middle out. I popped it out and I fixed it up a little bit. And as you can see, it has a really plasticky look. Um, probably because it was mostly resin. I don't love it. You can definitely see all the lines from the print. And some of the other ones, the other uh, casts that I've done, you can't really see those print lines. But here you can. You see the gold. And you can also see that it also picked up some of that blue from my old cast. So here you are. My epoxy and plaster little pot. 